So my name is Cheryl Sullivan and I was diagnosed with IPF on the 5th of December 2017. After the first, the, the initial shock, I remember it just, this can't be happening. I came in to have my sleep apnea checked. Like, are you sure? And I think then was going through my head, you know, the immediate, oh my God, oh my God, the sorrow, you know, there's so much more I want to do, all of those sorts of things, my children, my family. And then I just told them straight out. So that was an emotional time uh, for them and me. And even now thinking about that, you know, brings some emotion. Just after I was diagnosed, my brother and sister-in-law had found a video clip on Bill Vick talking about how he was fighting IPS. Living well for me, it's kind of a, there's four initials, METD. It's, it's movement, it's exercise, eating, it's uh, how you think about things, how you do things. So my life today as a IPF patient, living with a terminal disease is probably better than it was 20, 30 years ago because of that attitude of living life fully. God, it, it's been my absolutely complete and utter savior of my sanity and my mental health and my physical health. And that is what set me on this path. So I'm forever, ever grateful to me what keeps me going with this condition is staying fit. So now my exercise routine is, is mainly the walking, which I absolutely love. I did, you know, the Camino in 2019. Spain to me was a pilgrimage, a physical and mental pilgrimage for me with my IPF diagnosis and in a way, I wanted to do it on my own. This was just mine. I would have to say I'm having a great life at the moment with this disease. I suppose I've always known I've been a determined person, but I've probably never appreciated it as much. And I appreciate it because it's what's getting me through.